Can you dig so it? Much. That he's going to get a mouthful check. So he says he wants to get one. All right, Dave. Yeah, and Twiggy has already found something. Now we're in a different part of the woods today. What have you got there? What, what am I making my thing bong off? What have you got? 20, 20p. 20p. Are you back on your 20p days, Twiggy? I hope so. Well, this is a new bit of wood. We haven't tried this area, have we? That's all right. That. That's all right. 20p. One minute. Let's get on. Mm. Two holes, two coins. Let's have a look. Hey, we've got another coin nectar sector. How rotted are they? They're not that they're not, bad rotted. They're not bad. Oh! Not good, so it's not bad. I told you I thought we was going to have a good day today, didn't I? I've got a really, really good feeling about today that I'm going to find some fabulous art artefact. Anyway, keep going, Twiggy. I've only been here three minutes. Twiggy's had three coins. He's had two 20 peas and a penny. Uh, I've just had a pie tin and um, a, bit of, a bit of fag paper. So um, I'm, I'm on it today. Though. I feel really lucky like I'm going to... Uh, find an artefact that I really, really want. <laughs> so let's get going finding that artefact. Right, well, I've just come over. and Can you see that roundness in the soil? Roundness in the soil. We don't know what it is yet. I think it looks like a sixpence made that trick. I don't know it's a coin. I don't know. Is it? On. Is it a coin? Is it? It's definitely a coin, that. Yeah, it's a coin. What is it, though? Are you on fire today, Twiggy? Word. I think it's here. Oh, it's a good sound, this. Best sound. Oh. <laughs> Chuggy just fell down the hill. <laughs> oh, we should have filmed that. Could have put you on Twiggy Fails. <laughs> he just skidded down the hill on his ass. I don't think it was that funny. Well, you said it was the best signal you'd had. It's the best signal I've ever had. Bit of tube. <laughs> oh, I don't care what I dig up today, because I'm just dead happy because I'm on holiday. I could come out 20 times if I want to. I'm digging for ages here, because it had a good sound. And uh, do you know what I found? That. Medieval piting. Oh, pitings. I'm being cursed with pitings today. It's all I've dug up. Twiggy's got loads of coins and I've just got a collection of pie tins. I wonder what that one is. I think that one's steak and kidney. <laughs> just dug a massive hole for about 10 minutes all over the show. Not in the right place. I don't know what's got happened to me, me to be precise digging. Anyway, I found that ring pull. But, do you know what? Me and Twiggy are quite happy about ring pulls now because we've turned a, a negative into a positive. Well, we haven't done it really. Kelly Cole Detectors did it. And they've put a thing on it and we've seen it on Facebook. And it says um, if you collect ring pulls and you send them in, you can start win winning like um, detectors gifts. I don't know if it applies in England, but anyway, me and Twiggy are collecting uh, ring pulls because we want to win some gifts. We like gifts. Just been having a good dig. And I told you I thought I was going to find a good artifact today. I think I found an axe head or some sort of uh, cutting tool. I don't know, what do you think? Be a wedge for splitting. A wedge for splitting. Twiggy thinks a wedge for splitting. I don't know what that means. You men don't know, but I don't. Splitting trees. Splitting trees in half or something. There's enough trees around here to do a bit of splitting, isn't there? If that's the case. What do you think? Ooh. I think it's an eolithic axe edge. <laughs> Come on, let's keep digging. I've always got in our mind about this little nectar sector here where we keep finding G King George V coins. So um, anyway, we've scurried over the bridge again. We've come back here. Because um, we definitely, I'm in a right good mood today. I feel really happy. I don't know if it's because I'm off work or what, but I just feel really, really <laughs> chuffed today. I don't know what's, why I feel so happy, but I do. Anyway, so I think I'm going to find a King George coin again. If it, I hope it's a silver shilling. Mm -hmm. Today, I can tell. I've had a feeling. I could just dig it in the right place. Now you might notice 
I've got a new cover thing with a little stringy thing and I'm going to tell you all about that in a minute but look I'm not ever going to lose it ever again am I because we're nearly devastated the other week. You might have been noticing I'm using my headphones a lot today and, and I'm doing that because I am trying to learn the sounds I thought I could do it off the pictures like when I said but anyway from what you lot have been saying is I really do need to learn the sounds so I've been putting the headphones on um, and the, it's far better. I've not dug anything up yet like but I can hear the sounds a lot better and now I'm thinking Oh yeah, oh no, no, a bit like a professional. I'm thinking, mm, that's a good sound. Mm, that's not a good sound. And when I'm digging stuff up just to check, in most cases, I've been quite right. So I think that's another step forward, isn't it? My old, my old digging's still terrible. I noticed I've got a new bit of kit. Did you see it, what I've been using? I've been using this. And it was a cover for my Pinpointer Pro to stop me breaking it and like, you know, bashing it on things because sometimes I'm a bit rough, you might have noticed. But the best thing is on a baby string there, see, so it's attached to my bag. So I won't lose it like I did the other week when I was nearly crying. So, um, this is really, really good. I'm really, really chuffed with it. I think it's dead good, especially it's red because I won't lose it in the leaves now. And um, I got this sent in to me from um, Andy Bromley. Um, because he saw that I'd lost it and that, so he sent me this in. So thanks very much, Andy Bromley. And um, if you want to buy one of these, um, which I suggest you should get one, because it's a lot of money, 90 quid to lose, isn't it? Um, if you visit his, um, his store on eBay, I think he's called Papa Doodle. So give him a, um, a look on eBay, get yourself one of these. And then the other interesting thing is that he sent us one, a spare one, to give away for a prize. So at the minute, me and Twiggy are just trying to think about um, what we can do for a prize and what we, you know, for anybody that wants to win it. Twiggy, he's having a good day today with his coins. Oh, he's not having, we've been over at Nectar Sector, he's not had anything yet. Yeah. I don't know how that thing's still working. I mean, he's, he's had it sort of part, soldered it ages ago when it broke. And now, if you notice, he's got silver tape on it. I've not asked why. But um, some has come loose, I think, But so he's got silver tape on it. But he's going to reckon that he's going to just keep that for as long as he can, just to prove that you don't need top of the range to be able to find anything. So, and he's doing well, isn't he? I've got to say, he does do better than me. Although he, he didn't find a 1799 George III farthing. That's my best find. I love that coin. Just dug that massive hole there again. Don't matter because I'm in the forest. Don't worry about it being scruffy. But I found that it must be the smallest bit of metal in the whole of the area. But I have found it, which makes me feel happy because that means if I can find somewhere that small, then that means I can find a bit of a, a cut coin, you know, one of them, the mammoth coins where it's a quarter. I'll be able to find one of them, wouldn't I? So, ooh, a little bit of metal. It's all going in the right direction. I've just found that. I don't know, that is like some sort of old knife or something. Twiggy, what do you think this is? What I've found. I think it's an old knife or something. Look, have a look. It's a temp peg. It's not a temp peg, that. It's a temp peg. Listen, just because you find temp pegs don't mean that... That's not a temp peg. It's a temp peg. What, like that, that thick? It's not that thick, is it? It's triangular. Someone's not knocked it in, it's something hard and it's bent. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it not exciting then? It's not Guy Fawkes' knife then? No. From when he went round for dinner at the Alt? No. Oh, never mind. Put it in your bag. Hey, this is interesting. I'm just digging there. And as I was digging, something caught my eye. Can you see it? Look! Didn't even have to dig. 10p in the next sector. It looks brand new. Look at that. Silver. Ooh. New. I wonder what the date in that is, how old that is. Let's have a look. 2014. Woo! This moment in the next sector for Twiggy and uh, me. That's digging on. Ooh. Look what I found. Now, I know you all have these and that, but look what I found. My very first button. I found a button. It's like he's got a back on it and everything. Look, button. Oh, I wonder how all that is. Hey, do you know anything about buttons? Yeah, they do your pants up. Oh, has it got a, it's got a, it's got a picture on it. Right, I'm just going to get <laughs> my baby wipes out. Hang on. Let's give it Twiggy to look at. And he's got excited, said there's a crown on the front, and then snap the back of it off. 
Not letting like him it. touch my goods anymore. He just fell off. He just fell off. It's gilded that. It's got gold gild on it. It's got gold gild on it and a crown. I think this is Guy Fawkes' shoe button and he's fell off his shoes. Oh, I can't believe you've knocked the back of it off. Thank it's the only button I've ever found. I know what I think they've done it on purpose. I think he has, because he ain't got a button. <sighs> anyway, I'll get back on my baby wipes and I won't let him touch it anymore in case he snaps it in half. Right, my Twiggy's just cleaned it up. We've just had a look at it there now. And it's like a goldy colour, but it's got a crown on it. Oh, it's got a bird. A bird and a crown. A bird underneath the crown. A bird under the crown. And the sun's out. Does anybody neck. know what that is? Can you see it proper there? It's like it's got a crown on it. And is that a bird underneath? It's a bird of some description. Hey! Hey! My first button, Twiggy! I found a button at last. I know everybody moans about buttons, but I, I've never found one before. My first button is not boring, it's got a crown on it. That means it's it's a royal it's a royal one, isn't it? Who who came up here in them days? Could have been anybody. Henry the Eighth could have come up. He could have dropped the button, and he without fat, he wouldn't have been able to pick it up again, would he? Oh, go show us again, show us again. Oh, so button people out there, can you tell us what that button is? Can you tell us anything about it? Fabulous. Oh, I'm dead excited. I'm going to do all round here now. <laughs> Do you know I can feel coming on with these buttons? <laughs> I've got a proper button off the king! I'll tell you what. Proper chuff now, proper chuff with that button. We've cleaned it, it's got a gold gild on it, so that's technically my first bit of gold that I found. <laughs> and then uh, it's got a crown on it. <laughs> Makes me think it's come from the all oh, uh, oh. Makes me think it's come from the all behind us. I, can't, I, I, I think I've nearly gone speechless. A bit of uh, gold, I don't think it's proper gold, I think it's just gold plated. So we've got a bit of gold plated and a special button. I can't wait to get home so you can tell me what that is. I love this nectar sector here. I don't know what's going on in this bit of grass, but we've just found stuff in it all the time and it's just how close we are to the hall. <laughs> In the nectar sector, I'm just going to show you because I've not looked at it yet. It's just green, so I know it's you know what I know it is. It's George V, the fifth, I bet, because he's chucked all his money around here. George V, I'm just going to show you now. Can you see it? Can you see it? I've not looked at it yet. I've just seen the green. Oh, it says all this twiggy, 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 twig, 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 twig. Right, I'm just going to work. Uh, is it is it rotted? Oh, no, I can see some. It's not rotted either. I'm going to get my baby wipes. Right. Oh, oh, got my baby wipes. Look how green it is. Yep, it's our mate George. He's always appearing, George, isn't he? George, he's a bit tatty on the edges, but I can read everything that's on it. Let's see what the back's like. It's the George the Fifth penny, because he's got rule Britannia. Britannia rules the waves on the back. Oh, oh, oh. What's the year? What's the year? Oh, where's my glasses? Where's my glasses? Oh, never find your glasses when you want them, can you? That's why you have them wrapped around my head. Um, just have to stop it a minute. Oh, I can't find them. What is it? It's trouble being a woman and you've got a bag. I know I've noticed that KG and Ringy have their bag round the thing and just putting fines in it. Well, I've got, got lipstick and everything in mine, you know what I mean? So, uh, can't find my glasses. No, they're not lost. Are they on my head? Oh, I know what I did with them. I put them in the special bit. Right. Don't think you're going to be able to see the date because the bottom of it's a bit rotted if you look, look away. But it's definitely George the Fifth, that. George the Fifth. We've not got one of them, have we, Twiggy? Twelve George the Fifth penny. Hey, that's a button and a penny, all in this same nectar sector here. Don't you start coming near it, Twiggy.
Ooh. Sharing's caring. No, it's not. Not when it comes to coin finds. Okay. Okay, now he's still in these bushes because we've decided to get under the bushes. What is it? Do you want, do you want the baby wipes? Please. Oh, come on, they're getting used with a lot of these baby wipes, yeah, aren't they? Looks like a 2p. A 2p? Well, that's alright. You like 2p's, don't you? You've got a collection of them on your treasure tin, haven't you? I like anything at the moment. <laughs> we do like anything, don't yeah, we? It's a 2p. Oh, well, 2p? It's alright. If it had been in the ground a bit older, it'd have been an old My George V, but never mind. Or another one. Look, Twiggy, Twiggy, we've got another one. And you know what? It's another copper colour. You better get rushing over if you want to see it. I can just see it. You know what? Oh, wait, where has it gone? Oh, I'm talking that much, cat. I've lost where it is. I saw it. Oh, sh oh, no, sugar. Oh, there it is. Look, there it is. Can you see? There. Oh, look at the size of that one. There it is. Look at the size of that. That's a bigger than all, that's not new. It's not a 2p. I better get the baby wipes again. This is fabulous. I'm having a really, really top day. Started off finding nothing but pythons, and now I'm just having gold buttons, George the Fifths. Let's get the baby wipes out. Right, it's another George the Fifth penny. I'm just getting the gigs on just so I can uh, see if I can get a date on it. But look, I don't know if you can see him, but look, he's really in good condition. He's really in good condition, him, Triggy. Ah, oh, I like George, me. He's my favourite king. Because I find loads of his stuff. Anyway, let's have a look. 1948. That last one I found was 1948. There was an half a pence, wasn't it? You know the eight, ne? 1948. Penny. It's got Britannia on the back again. <laughs> top day. Top day. Twiggy's desperate to find something now, aren't you? Tell everybody what you want to find. Gold coin. No, tell them everybody what he wants to find. George. He wants to find a George coin now, because I've had loads and he hadn't had and he's just had 20 peas. And uh, he's had about 400 Coke cans. It's just when you've got the skill, Twiggy. You know, don't worry, one day you'll be as good as me. <laughs> Keep digging your Coke cans. Ooh, another 2p. It's just a new 2p, but I don't mind, because I've got some George fifth pennies. I'm having a great day. I said I was going to be for lucky, didn't I? I just had a feeling, I don't know how I have a feeling. Anyway, even if I hadn't only just found that, I'd still be having a really good time because the weather's lovely today. I feel the sun warm in my back and that. I've just gone over the 2p, the 2p hole because you should you know, if you're at home, don't ever just think that that's it. Always give it another doing because look what I found in the same hole. It looks a bit brown, but it's actually a 10 pence, but it's not like holes or anything, but it was in the same hole and it's 10p. <laughs> I've got loads of coins in my bag. Twiggy's just found another two peas as well. Hey, oops, where's it got? Oh, don't stop in it. Hey, Tempe. Dave, which I gave it a good doing to last week, so I don't know how this has happened. But Twiggy's found a coin. I went all over this bit last week. What is it? I don't know. Let's have a look. It's weird. It's weird. Is it not a two p? It's got a big line through the middle of it. Oh, that. I think you've hit it with your spade or something. No, look, do you see that? Oh, yeah. Looks like it's been hit with a spade or something. No, it doesn't. It's part of its design. Well, it's have a big line in the middle. It must be a token then or something, what do you reckon? Well, it must be a token. Not seen anything like that before. That's well, aren't we having a good day? How much nectar is in this sector? There's loads in them. We keep thinking that we, we might as well not come back because we've got it all. And then we come back and then we just keep digging them up again. I love this bit, me. This is my favourite bit. Well, it's the only bit we come to, isn't it, really? That's a good job. You well, it says token on it, doesn't it? So they keep it for a laundrette or something? What sort of token could it be? Can you see what it says? It says something only, I get only, value. Token value only? Token value only. Well, well it's interesting, isn't it, Twiggy? It's not a 2p, it's interesting. Yeah. They've got on a load in our collection in a bit, aren't we? Hey, loads of coins. Just having a rest. Oh. This... What? I've got some more. I've done over there last week, you won't find anything there. Not with your machine, Matt. Anyway, I just thought while I'm here, I just wanted to say I'll, I'll thank you to all you people that's in uh, Digger Dawn and Twig the Dig group. Because we go on there, we have a right laugh, especially there's a couple of you that I just want to say hi to. 
Peter Ketley, you one funny bloke you are with all your pictures. Ali Smith, you're funny as well. And Pete Floyd, we just love looking at all your pictures, what you send us every week of all your finds that you found in your backyard. Like I say, backyard to us is not quite like what you call a backyard because I think your backyard's a bit like a, a farm, isn't it? It takes you about two and a half miles to get to your fence, doesn't it? Or to go and pick your post up from your post box. Anyway, hello to all three of you. Right, we're done for the day now, so we're going to nip home. Um, get a couple of uh, bits from Aldi and uh, then we'll make the film and put it up on the internet. We've had a really good day today. I always say it, don't I? We really mean it, I do. I absolutely love this hobby. Uh, Can you so, um, anyway, so the weather's booked up. We reckon it's going to be nice for the next few days. So we might be out tomorrow anyway, but I expect quite a few videos over the next couple of weeks. Because every time I can get out, I'm out. Okay, see you next week. Dig it.